are artificial sweeteners bad for health? Some people claim that they cause cancer and are bad for her gut health. Even in the recent news, WHO has labeled aspartame as a possible carcinogen, which means they cause cancer. The word artificial itself seems a little scary and raised doubts. But then we see a lot of fitness coaches encouraging their audience to drink Diet Coke. Why is that? Hi, I'm Varsha Banu, coach at My Health Buddy. In today's video, we will answer a few basic questions. Are they safe? If safe, how much can we consume it? And can or should we replace sugar with these artificial sweeteners in our diet in order to save some calories? So first, let's understand what are artificial sweeteners. Artificial sweeteners or non-nutritive sweeteners are non-caloric sugar substitutes that taste just like sugar but do not contain sugar or glucose in them and hence won't raise our blood glucose levels. Examples, aspartame, sucralose, saccharin, ac sulfame k and interestingly there's a natural non-nutritive sweetener. I mean, nature has given us some plants which are sweet but don't raise our blood glucose levels. For example, stevia and mock fruit. Let's talk about this one by one. Number one is aspartame. Aspartame is one of the most studied and researched artificial sweetener available in the market and is 200 times sweeter than sugar. Every sweetener has an ADI given by FDA which means acceptable daily intake and is calculated based on how much an individual can have without any harmful effects. The ADI for aspartame is 40 mg per kg body weight. So if you're 60 kgs, you can have 2400 mg or 2.4 grams of aspartame per day safely. One pellet of aspartame is about 18 mg. Examples, Diet Coke, Fanta Zero, Coke Zero and chewing gums like Orbit, Mentos and Nutra Sweet, Equal, Sugar Twin, etc. Diet Coke contains about 188 mg of aspartame way below the ADI, which means you can have 12 to 20 Diet Cokes per day within the safe limit. But do you think is it practically possible? No, right? So don't worry about it. Number two, sucralose. Sucralose is one of the most used artificial sweetener and it is 600 times sweeter than sugar. And the ADI for sucralose is 5 mg per kg body weight. So if you are 60 kgs, you can have 300 mg safely. Example, Splenda. And one pellet of sucralose is 12 mg. Number 3. Saccharin. It was the first introduced artificial sweetener in the year 1879 and it is 300 times sweeter than sugar. The ADI for saccharin is 15 mg per kg body weight which means if you are 60 kgs you can have 900 mg per day safely. Example, sweet and low, nectar sweet, sweet win, etc. Number 4. AC sulfame K. It is 200 times sweeter than sugar and the ATI is 15 mg per kg body weight which means if you are 60 kgs you can have 900 mg per day safely. Example, sweet and low, sweet twin and nectar sweet. Number 5, stevia is a natural sweetener which means it is plant based and it is 200 to 400 times sweeter than sugar. The ADI for stevia is 4 mg per kg body weight which means if you are 60 kgs you can have 240 mg safely. One pallet of stevia is 19.5 mg. Example, Truvia, Purevia. Coming to whether artificial sweeteners cause cancer. Even in the recent WHO news, they are adding aspartame in the possible carcinogen category. But then there is inadequate evidence in humans and sufficient evidence in experimental animals. In this study, the dosage given to animals was very very high. Remember guys, dosage makes the poison. See, all the artificial sweeteners have been thoroughly researched and FDA and JEFCA both stated that consuming this artificial sweeteners within the area limits is completely safe. So guys, now that we have discussed about various artificial sweeteners, but why add them in your diet in the first place? So I mean, do you get any benefit of replacing your normal sugar with these artificial sweeteners? See. People need to control their caloric intake while they are trying to lose weight. These artificial sweeteners are definitely a useful tool in people's weight loss journey. Since it is practically impossible to have these at their ADI, these are perfectly safe. 